Hello and welcome back to AMBV. I'm Casper, and today we're going to be looking at the next phase of the 1967 Mustang project. So as you can see, the engine and transmission are out of the car. The 289 flat tappet engine that was in the car has always had issues ever since I got it. And while supposedly being rebuilt not long ago, and also having the transmission replaced not long ago, both leaked like crazy, and obviously had either had a very quick seal job done on them, or nothing at all. So, one of the issues I was looking to address was something that seemed to present itself like valve float as soon as the car hit about 5,500 RPM-ish, and it had been progressively getting worse. I believed it was potentially a broken valve spring or a bad lobe on the camshaft, something. But rather than work on it in the car, I knew I was gonna pull it out either way. Once I started pulling the engine out of the car, I decided that I would just replace the engine with a different engine and rebuild this engine when I had time and use it for another project. If it's the numbers matching to the original car, I will keep it around. Otherwise, I don't really have much use for a flat tappet engine here, especially for a car being used as a daily driver. The first issues I have to address before the new engine arrives, however, is taking a look at the rust situation under the battery tray. I've seen the rust down there, but I don't know how bad it is. And then I will also be replacing the Ford power steering system with the CJ Pony Parts Borgensen unit. This will delete the whole Ford system other than the power steering pump and hopefully solve all the leaking issues by simplifying the whole system immensely. To start with in this episode, we are going to take a look at the rust situation and see how bad it really is. As you can see here, the battery tray is now out of the way. It took about every tool I had to find a way to get that thing loose. One of the pieces of hardware was completely fused in place with rust. Ultimately, the rust is mostly confined to where hardware was mounted, but it is fairly pervasive. While it is solid, there is a lot missing. And when you look at the old battery tray, the back corner was primarily what took the brunt of the damage. The unit itself is mostly intact other than having this piece of hardware corroded in place. So what I will do to fix this issue will be to begin by grinding off the top here so that I can see how much rust I'm really dealing with. And then once I find the extents, I will probably cut a section out of here, patch panel in a new piece of metal, and then coat all of this in rust neutralizer before sealing it all back up. So for this episode, let's focus on just getting to the extent of the rust that we're dealing with.
Now that we have all the paint and rust out of the way, you can see that there's actually plenty of good metal still here. This rust really isn't bad for a car like this. So I should be able to pretty easily cut this out and try to weld in a patch piece and then spray the whole area down with rust neutralizer. That should be enough to deal with this issue here. The hardest part by far will be welding in the patch panel because it's been years since I've tried to weld thin metal like this. So I'll need some practice. I'm going to move over to the power steering system right now while I wait to pick up the materials for this project. So this is where I'll have to leave the video. If you like what you're seeing, stay tuned for the power steering video. And as always, thank you for watching.